What's up everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope everyone's well. Uh, I'm great, thank you for asking. We'll do something different today. I kind of thought of this, I thought I've wanted to do this for a while and I thought, well, why not now? You know, why not now? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a rate your lift. So every every so often, uh, follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll be announcing it. I'm gonna put up a story and say, yo, send me some DMs, let me save the videos. Uh, in order for me to rate your lift and stick these into the video. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've got probably 30 videos here. We we'll probably won't be able to get through all of them because we wanna be able to, 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 to rate them as quickly as possible so more people can get rated. And we'll see what we can do. So let me know if you enjoy this type of video. Drop a like, support the channel, drop a comment, let me know that you're enjoying it. And we'll get into this first one. So this one is Petar, uh, and he looks to have like a stiff leg dang lift here. Uh, so first and foremost, he's definitely coming down way too quickly, as you can see here. Uh, he probably needs to slow this down a little bit. As you, as he, what he's doing here is, as he's coming down so quickly, it's creating such a force that he needs to get back up that actually you can see his lower back starts to round a little bit. So slow this down. Count one, two, three, uh, and it would be pr pretty good. Like your actual form of it is pretty solid. Just make sure you're not you're not going too quickly on it, and you can. Uh, just keep moving from there. Uh, so this is D Nam. Uh, he's got the 32s here, shoulder press. Don't know how he got up in the first place, but it looks good. So look, this is the perfect control. You know, I'm happy that his elbows are in a little bit. If, if you feel more comfortable like that, I've got no issues with you doing that. Some people prefer their shoulders slightly outwards. You can do either, but honestly, this is a really, really good lift. And I just know that if you stick with this, this is gonna get more comfortable. Those little shakes that you're getting there are gonna get even more stable, even in the later ranges, as you do get stronger and stronger. So honestly, dude, this is this is a good lift. So the next video here from Rupert, this looks like he's gonna be doing some sort of a uh, deadlift. No, he's doing a row. This is like a pendlay row. So I would definitely slow this down again. You can see you're kind of using that momentum to try and move that weight a little bit. You could dead stop this at the bottom. I'm fine with, with people lifting at that like parallel lift on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a row like that. But personally, I prefer to have something against my chest because I think you can lift more weight. And actually, you're not limited by how much you can hold in uh, like mid-range hip flexion. You know, you know, you find like if you can't, if you can't hold 200 kilos in a mid-range hip flexion, but you can row it, you know, you're not getting that, that maximum potential out of that muscle. So I personally prefer rows up against something or somewhere you can anchor against it. But this is a, this is a, like the, the actual lift of it is fine. Just slow it down, control it a little bit more, pause if you need to, just to make sure you, you get the most out of it. Uh, so this is Perrin. He normally, he does the, uh, oh, this is the Atlantis hack squat. Looks like there's maybe three and a half plates on there. And this is, I thought this would be a really, really good lift. Uh, like he controls it all the way down you know, like there's almost like a micro pause, but not so much that it makes it much harder, but so much that it takes that that kind of swing, that momentum out of it a little bit, that inertia as well. Uh, he's also got the band at the top there, which is great for manipulating this resistance profile like we talk about with, with hack squats and stuff. So yeah, this is a really, really good lift. Um, you should be happy with this. Uh, Emmett, so this is like a bench press. First of all, don't really like bench presses. I'm gonna say that off the bat. Uh, 140. Is this going to be a one or two repper? Or are you going to rep this out? Poof, it's a wanna. Yeah, it's fine. Like, you're strong. Like, you, you're not, like, we're not, this is obviously just like a, from a bodybuilding standpoint, we would never do like one to three reps. You'd probably work a little bit higher than that. Maybe five to six reps. I'm sure this guy knows that you just want me to see the one rep max. Dude, 140. I remember hitting my first 140. I was, maybe 21, 22 years old. So you look like you're around, around that, maybe even younger than that. So if you're doing that, you're way ahead of the game. In fact, I've got a video of me hitting 140 on my, on my YouTube. I'll find that maybe one there and I'll repost it. So Dave Young Fitness. This is like a slight incline, so it's not completely flat. So I much prefer this as well. He's got into it safely. He's got the elbow sleeves on. Uh, I don't worry if you've got elbow sleeves on or not, like whatever feels more comfortable. It's not gonna take massive amounts. But the depth here is really good. The control here is really, really good. The good thing about a dumbbell is that it converges, which is why I like to pick machines because they converge quite well sometimes. But dumbbells actually do work really, really well for a lot of things, you know, even like biceps and arms. But dude, this is a really, really good lift and you should be happy with this. Uh, Daniel, so is they, are they the one of our cuffs? They're not the one of our cuffs, I don't think, but, but he's doing a cuff crucifix lateral raise. 
Now, this is another one that works your, your delts really, really well, rhomboids, traps, things like that really, really well. Uh, and the form here is perfect. Like it's controlled, like you, you'll get to know as we do these, that like you'll see what good form is. And this is just control, you know, there's not too much swinging, you're not like shaking too much. And you can see this here um, is a really, really good lift as well. Uh, Christopher, so this looks like, this is some more cuffs. These are the one of our cuffs. <laughs> So he's doing a like a almost like a flat type style cuffed um, fly. The one thing I would say that you could do here is rather than keeping your arms perfectly out straight, is actually you could bend them at the because it's the same distance. It doesn't make a difference if your arms out straight or not. The only thing is it might put, cause a little bit more tension on the inside of the elbow. So you actually could just bend here because it's the exact same distance if the cuff is on the elbow, and you could just think about driving that across. But other than that, dude, control is good. Uh, are they the one of our socks? I've just cut those. Or are they Under Armour? I think they might be the one of our socks. If they are, I represent. Uh, we'll go on to another one. This looks like a squat, but this is a pretty poor video. Make sure when you're doing these videos, you can see the whole the whole thing. This is quite, this is good enough. So a squat for you is very, very awkward. I can see that. I don't know if that's a one rep or, or you're doing more. I can see that at the bottom of that lift, you're very, very weak and you struggle to get out and then you, you pop up nicely. So for you, I'll try and maybe try a heel raise. It might put you in a slightly more comfortable position with your hips and your glutes. Um, you can stick plates under, you can use like lifters, but they might help just raise that heel a little bit, allow a bit more knee flexion, and now a little bit more strength at the bottom of that lift. But this is a big reason why I would tell, and you might guys see, I might pick on the squats a little bit more because I, you know, you can, you'll start to see why a lot of people maybe just shouldn't squat because you might not have that instability on a high squat, for example. Um, Henry Partridge, uh, Partridge, sorry. Uh, he is doing a bent over row. So you can see this, like he's bobbing around, uh, like no disrespect or anything, but you're bobbing around, like you're kind of swinging the weight a little bit. It's kind of turning into a shrug towards the end. And as you're getting more and more tired, you're almost, you know, fully horizontal lifting those things. So set yourself in this range right here, you know, arch that back a little bit more. So you're in a locked position and just keep it fixed. You know, you don't need to swing around, you know, sure there's some big weight on there, but you know, is that big weight, justified probably not right now with those plates off the end you know lock that form in don't bob around keep in a nice fixed position and you're gonna get a lot more tension out of that i promise you uh eduardo so this looks like such a foreign gym <laughs> whenever i've competed uh anywhere uh, also guys if you trim your videos make it a lot better this is fine uh so yeah whenever i've competed anywhere like portugal spain this is like a one of those gyms i don't know why they're just all painted the same so first thing first, I'd, see, I'd put that seat one low. Definitely, I'd put that seat one lower. You can see that your, your, the angle of your elbows is probably a little bit down, where you want it to be a little bit more perpendicular. So sit that seat two notches lower, and you're gonna be, you'll be in a perfect place there. Like, slow it down, control, you're in a good spot. Matty Harrow, what's you got here? He's putting, this wasn't his max, so don't worry, guys. Even though there's about six plates on there. <laughs> don't worry about it, mate. Uh, yeah, this is like, it's just, just a strong lift, but you're just like hitching it up, you know? I imagine you're a, you're a power lifter. And if you're a power lifter, I, 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 don't, I, don't, know if, I don't know the full rules of power lifting, but you, I, don't, I think you're not allowed to hitch at points. So maybe this will be disqualified, uh, but I'm not a power lifter. But if this is for power lifting, it's a really good lift for bodybuilding, but I would never, um, I would never lift like that. Um, Darren, this is an incline Smith press. So this is pretty perfect. You can see that just for him naturally, his elbows want to fall slightly in. And you'll see this in different people's presses. I like to keep my elbows out because I feel like the, the, the further elbow comes out, the longer the pet can get, the more I can drive in, the shorter I can get. Um, but some people, it gives a little bit of elbow tension either like directly inside the joint or, 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 or in different aspects of the joint. So you can see he just dipped his elbows in a little bit to, for that comfort. This is fine, control, power. And you can see this is what failure looks like because you just, it's consistently moving, but you know, you got nothing left. That's a really, really good lift, man. This one, the second one's better. Let's go. He's got the reverse band on here. So this is how you should reverse band. Uh, maybe even one notch lower than that, but this is a good, good reverse band. Uh, I, I often band a little bit too tight because my daisy chain is not long enough and I can't create it. Um, if I'm honest, for a lot of people who are just lifting like one plate on the reverse band, I'd probably say you could probably look to just try and get stronger without the band on there. 
the band isn't going to do too much because the, there's going to be a natural kind of drop off because you're stronger in that position anyway. But it's kind of when the weights get really, really heavy and the Smith machine doesn't doesn't work too well, you, you could do that. But this is perfect. Like this is really good. Like if you feel it and it feels better in your shoulders and, and you feel comfortable doing it, then then definitely keep it up. James leg on the hat squat. This is the grow room, I think. This is the grow room, the grow room. Shout out to the grow room. So first of all, take those shoes off. Uh, anyone who squats and trainers, take the damn shoes off. They are soft. And you can imagine instability. If you're not perfect across your whole foot, which no one is, because someone pushes a bit more like that, a bit more like that, and it's just gonna be too soft like that. So take those off. You're gonna find a lot more stability at the ankle, a lot more stability at that bottom bit where your knees are caving in. Um, but like, you know, keep control it a little bit more as you're getting tired here. Just remember that same count that you want that first, second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way up into that final rep to look very, very similar, as, as, as close as close as you can. So Charlie is on the Nautilus press, it looks like here, which is my favorite press because it converges at the top and you can really dig your elbows in. Uh, this is pretty good. I'll probably sit the seat back a little, one more. It looks like, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to look around it like, I mean, like it's in front of me. Uh, you, the, on some of these seats, you can sit them further back. I would sit it a little bit further back because you are coming real deep. And there's no issue with going really deep on a press. But as soon as you start to internally rotate or your elbows get a little bit weird, you've gone a little bit too deep and you're gonna put a bit of pressure on the shoulder. So this is a perfect form. You're controlling it well, good intensity. Let's see if he gets his extra reps. Just put it on him right now. Yeah, it's a good rep. We'll give him that. So he's doing an OHP, just a standing OHP. I used to love OHP back in the day. I used to absolutely love it. I used to always do it. Um, I think there's better things to build muscle. But dude, your form's good. You've got no leak of, of energy. You'll see someone with a leaky energy. It's because they're flinging around all everywhere. Whereas direct energy, you kind of, you're kind of you a lot, lot more stable. Uh, but yeah, I love this. Try it seated, try it sitting down. Try it with dumbbells. Uh, I prefer that for muscle building, but this is great for just being strong at overhead pressing. We'll go on to the final one now. Sorry, we have run this out. So I do not like this machine at all. But this guy's form on this machine is pretty decent. Like his back is straight the whole way. The weight's not too light. You can see he's got Converse on, not, not soft shoes. So actually the form that this guy's com like completing this at is actually really good. And some people do just find it a little bit more comfortable facing the machine. I know a lot of people like that. So um, yeah, really, really good set. Guys, if you enjoyed this, like I'm just gonna give little, little hints, little tips onto uh, like how you can improve things, you know, uh, things that I would be thinking about in those lists, maybe lifts that I'll do differently, then then, then drop, drop a comment, let me know you enjoy these things. And if you guys wanna do it, follow me on Instagram and I'll put up a, I'll put up a thing. Maybe we'll do a couple of months or once, one a month and we'll see how we get on from there. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, thank you very much. And we'll see you soon, guys. Peace, everybody. Bye-bye.